I'm meteorologist John Marshall, and you've got it right here in the Star Ledger. Front page, the rise of Frankenstorm. That is what this storm is going to be dubbed, has been dubbed, and the name will stick. I don't care what the Weather Channel, if they're naming storms. Well, this one is Frankenstorm for us because it's around the Halloween time, obviously, but we've got Sandy now, a hurricane north of the Bahamas. Now, we're looking at our latest European run model. Folks, this does not look good at all for the New York City metropolitan area. It is taking a course up and off the coastline. This storm, Sandy, may weaken a little bit, but will become energized by an upper-level low-pressure system that will act like a, a catalyst for a strengthening storm. Basically, that storm, Sandy, will get energized even more so if it does weaken a little bit over the next 24 to 48 hours and then take that hook to the north and west. The question is, when does that hook occur? Well, right now we're looking at this storm that have a pressure of about 940 millibars. That translates on the barometer to 27.76 inches of mercury, which is, in my book, like a category almost three or four hurricane. We're not going to see those type of winds around here, category three or four type hurricane force winds. It's just telling us right now that this storm will be so potent and this area of high pressure to the north and the west of it will be so intense, the difference between the two is called the pressure gradient. The more lines you see, the more wind there is. Basically, the atmosphere wants to balance itself out, and it does so by wind. It tries to create an equilibrium. Anyway, this storm with the European model hooks into southern New Jersey 7 o'clock on Tuesday morning, and if this path does pan out, there would be devastating winds, devastating coastal flooding, and historic flooding of the rivers and streams throughout the New York City tri-state area. The thing is, the European model is our, uh, what we call our star of models for long-range forecasting. It has been shifting back and forth the last 12 hours, so it probably will shift again. So let's not hone in on the exact track. But if this track were to occur, unfortunately, New York Harbor would be in a perilous situation because New York Harbor, as you can see here, is almost at a 90 degree an angle and all the water off the ocean will be funneling in to New York Harbor, into lower Manhattan, and that could lead to some uh, significant to catastrophic um, coastal flooding in and around uh, portions of the New York Harbor area. So again, will this pan out? It may, it may not, it's a possibility, but really take a look at the models right now and you'll see a lot of them, the spaghetti plot, because obviously it looks like a bunch of spaghetti has been thrown up on the map here, shows that the models are coming in toward the coastline with that upper level energy and a big area of high pressure that is located over Newfoundland and portions of Nova Scotia. It's a traffic jam in the atmosphere. So that's why this storm is going to get energized and get thrown back to the north and west that these models are showing us. So all in all, what we're expecting the time frame of this thing is basically to begin on Sunday evening with some light rain, some breezes, and then Monday into early Tuesday morning, I think that will be the uh, brunt of the storm with high winds, flooding rains, and severe coastal flooding. No matter what track this storm takes, that is the forecast. High winds, severe coastal flooding, and some flooding rains. Again, we're gonna fine tune the exact measurements of wind, how much rain, as we get closer and through the weekend. But all in all, again, the time frame is Sunday evening through Tuesday morning. Folks, I was out there today. It is mayhem. The public is, in my book, pretty scared. Um, we're just warning you here. I would get prepared for the possibility of having no power. I really do think some trees will come down. I do think there'll be power outages when all these computer guidance models are now suggesting that this storm will be anywhere between, uh, let's say, Long Island through portions of Delaware and the Maryland coastline. No matter how you slice it, wherever that landfall is, we are going to experience some severe weather around here. So now is the time to prepare. I know it's hectic out there. I know the stores are out of water. Some of them are anyway. Um, just take your time, get flashlights, get um, battery-operated lanterns, maybe fill your tub up with some water, and uh, hopefully some of you have a generator. Um, that's my advice to you right now. We still have a couple days to watch it. Could it just fizzle and fall apart? I don't think so. So there you go. Again, just use caution and... Uh, we are going to have more updates as conditions warrant. I'm meteorologist John Marshall. You can always get your forecast at www.johnmarshallweather.com.